Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the uh, Season 3 playoffs of the Proton Unite League. Uh, we are here for Match 4, Cerulean Foxes versus Kakuna Matata, uh, and I am joined by uh, fellow Rhydons, Sif, Shaman, Ikaro, and momentarily Penguin. Uh, and we will be, we are so unbelievably excited to cast this match. This should be an absolutely insane session. So yeah, I'm just, I'm incredibly, I'm incredibly excited about this. The teams are, uh, readied up. These, you can see their rosters on screen. Uh, they'll be banning in fourth slot. We actually plan to ban in advance in this league. The, the world is changing. <laughs> Uh, you need communication, baby. It's I know. Moment. We are very pro communication on this channel, so this this is good. Uh, the it looks like the foxes called tails and won the coin flip and are taking second pick. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, uh, with all of that rattled off, uh, it looks like both teams are ready. So I guess we'll launch right into it. Heck yeah. <laughs> Um, them bitches at ten thirty. I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> I did too. I don't worry. I was I I so was scrambling to set up. I totally got <laughs> the time wrong. But we're all here oh, now. I, I thought it was supposed to be an hour earlier. Don't worry. We have a full a full <laughs> five man team no. <laughs> of of players. Like no one knew when the match was made. In order to commentate this match, so we're we're making sure that you get. Every possible perspective. All right, looks well, like we are going. Going. draft. All right, we have five. So each of us takes uh, each of us takes one person from both teams, and we commentate solely about that person. Right? <laughs> that would be yeah, sure. the worst. Now, Samsung and down. a top laner from each. Side. No, that's okay. <laughs> it looks like no, we've no, got no. banning the I the blaze. Like, oh, guys, shut up! The draft is happening. Person. We have a Blaziken right. ban coming out from Kakuna Matata, trying to stop Spirit's terrifying Blaziken, I assume, and the classic Umbreon ban from the Foxes. Few That's things true. are more constant in this world than the Cerulean Foxes <laughs> Umbreon ban. They just don't like Umbreon. They don't like Umbreon. Oh boy. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Alright, what, what do we got? Uh, first pick oh. Tyranitar? Oh. I wouldn't Maybe. be surprised. No. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Grabbing the comfy. Uh, and oh, then. Not scared of teeth, <laughs> The foxes looks like. Oh, Ani's not settled. Okay, a. Uh... Chandler. Oh, they switched. They used the switch. Uh, Bam has okay. taken Chandler, and Alien has Trevenant. It looks like we have Mamoswine and Cram, if those get confirmed. I love some mm -hmm. good Mamoswine right. gameplay. Yeah. Oh, Cram's Cram confirmed. Duck, duck. Cram. <laughs> After the bump, and Cram's getting picked up more. Yeah, I mean, I've been seeing you play it a lot, Sif, so I've, I've, my, my opinion of recent Cram is definitely on the upswing. Oh, Honestly, yeah, the buffs too. that Cram got were really, yeah, really not. Nice. Yeah, yeah, undeniably. And Clefable. Clefable and oh. Pikachu. Yep. All pretty straightforward mm -hmm. picks so far. The Cram is a little spicy, and the Comfy is definitely spicy. I'm not sure who plays Comfy on their team, but I guess we're about to find out. Uh, it, it should cool. be Zarius. Okay. Zarius has been practicing a bit of Comfy as of late, so I wouldn't be surprised. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, <laughs> I'm seeing this scroll and I'm all like, loop, loop scroll game? Uh, <laughs> I'm just a scroll right. is not a looping character. But, but Meow Scroll, that squirrel, is. Yeah. Lupin suddenly reveals that she's just a god tier squirrel player like like everything else. Okay, and we are settled with no our fives. No T Tar no whatsoever. I'm, yeah, I'm genuinely one. surprised. No T Tar ban, no T Tar pick is pretty crazy right now. Did they not yeah. get the memo? I, they, they might just not have T-Tar players on either team. Well, yeah, well, here's the thing. Uh, I feel like the even though T-Tar is a very good Pokemon pick, I think both teams are scared that uh, the moment that someone picks T-Tar, it essentially says, we need a team that stops T-Tar. Right. In the draft, it's like you start picking CC Pokemon. So if the entire team's nothing but CC, then uh, the T-Tar is going to have a very bad time. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a, it's an interesting sort of 
dilemma between picking it early so the other team can't have it and picking it late so that the other team doesn't have time to pick counters. Uh, hello also to Turret and Red in the chat. Very excited to have you. Uh, this is going to be an interesting matchup, I think. Yep, I'm curious on how the uh, Comfy is going to play into this. I haven't seen Spirit's Azumarill before. That's that's an interesting pick. There are a lot Look, of I mean, solo it, movers. It running on the other an X team. attack is you know, really telling. Like, it, it plans to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the question will be, I'm surprised does surprised it? Barm didn't send the Chandler to Spirit Edge. I feel like... Is that a lame meow? Chandler. Oh. That is... Lane Cat. Lane Cat. <laughs> yep. It looks like we've got Dragapult as the jungler for KM and Chandler as the jungler for the Foxes. Early skirmish oh, it's on top. Cat. It's Lane Lupin Cat. Are they both oh, stacking? Both just <laughs> they'll just trade farm, I suppose. Okay. They'll they'll tip their hats I... at each other and mute, mute, mute <laughs> shirt, uh, mutually assured stacking. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, three early stacks on both sides, effectively. It's pretty strong. It's more... It's, uh, and, oh, and that is a Whirlpool get, Azumarill. Get I cannot tell you how excited I am to see that. Oh, heavy mm -hmm. damage coming out in this quick skirmish. Ani is just insisting on stacking no matter what. Dragon, uh, Dragon Pult's already up here. The gank has arrived. Uh, Chandelure, on the other hand, is not nearly up here. Uh, there we go. She's just arrived. Ani makes it to safety. So that's six Ani on top. Ani speed. Uh, yeah, Escape. Uh, Vicious tries to uh, do a jack button to get, get the kill. doesn't happen. Yeah, almost. Uh, we got a lot of damage going down. Woo! But still, no one is dead. That the man, the Clefable surviving on the edge of its health repeatedly. The junglers yep. are peeling off. Uh, has anything been happening on bot? Just some farming? Not really. Okay. It's, it's we got scary. XP shares on both sides, so they're definitely focusing on getting their levels up. There's no score on the bottom side. All the action's really been top side focused. Oh, it's point. double double XP share for both teams. Not particularly surprising, but. It's always like interesting when that share. happens, yeah. yeah. i got to help your homie out. The XP shares are strong. Oh, Chandelure is back on top side. Oh, and more Level. fighting continues. Oh, oh Lupin makes oh, it to Lupin safety. Really Another stack. I, I, is Clefable full at this point? Oh, and Lupin goes uh, down. Zarius, mm -hmm. uh, the flower crown alone cannot defend, and the first goal breaks. That's going to be the goal breaking. Spirit pushes in. Zarius has to fall back. A gank from Vicious. I don't, I don't know pretty much exactly the same. I don't think they could have broke well that goal. Experience. That's an even 80. Oh, another There's kill a, on ooh, Vicious. Ooh, down goes the Dragapult. Crazy secure on Chandelure from Bat. shooting. Bean shooting from this Chandelure right now. Yeah, on Bot, it looks like the level advantage is slightly to KM. Uh, Bam has arrived to potentially correct that. I wonder if they're planning on pushing. Oh, they're setting up for the objective. Looks like yeah, the Foxes that, that will is. be doing bottom Reggie. Uh, Spirit is dueling Lupin and Zarius and is going to go down here. Yep. Lupin wins. and Scoring for the top I'm lane. Good bit of point. The fight begins on bot. Oh, Mint had the flash in, uh, on, on Framorant. Foxes have started Registeel. It's already at the Reggie. Alien keeping him off. Keeping him out of that bush. There it goes, yeah. Foxes get Reggie. Go and take uh, it. What happens with the post fight? Trevenant down. Ooh. Vicious comes in and does a lot of damage. On the top side, we have uh, a fight with uh, with Azumarill. Oh, Ooh, wow. A double kill. Spirit two, revenge kills after losing the first duel. <laughs> and takes Reggie Alecki, sending Reggie it into Lecky. the second goal. Vicious That's both is for uh, for Cerulean Foxes. It's like Spirit. Uh, now and... we're gonna gonna have a huge score on the bottom side too. Oh yeah, because the KM is peeled away to defend. Classic Cerulean Foxes strategy: sending the Reggie and using it as a distraction. I mean, it's classic general strategy, but they they do it a lot. Can Reggie goes down, giving Ani and Spirit a chance to take mid birds as well. Everyone's pulling back, doing their farming. The foxes are, are setting up their usual cordon. They're slowly pushing 
the range of what is their territory across the map. Level wise, still pretty even. There's still a pile of swine on KM's side. They really gotta, they gotta get that get up one more level. Pat's almost there. Just a little bit more farm it's from the jungle, there. maybe. Uh oh. Lupin's gonna fight. fight. Already at half. Alt uh, Lupin, to alt. Survive. Oh get man! Whoa. Two deaths on both sides. Two kills before dying. Oh, there's a oh, Grim's missing. Missile. Alien's gonna go down, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Ani, too. Down. The mechanical fable, too. The tides turn there. KM distinctly winning that team fight. Yeah, can but now Bam the problem defend. is it's, it's still a Chandelure, so it can defend unless it gets caught. Oh, she ults. Uh, takes down line. reinforcements. A lot of ults going through. Mamasine uh, ults. Yeah. Aliens ults. Barbaton, good job. You, you bought your team time. Yep. The reinforcements Oops. arrive, oh, wow. and Top is successfully defended from that crazy push. Lupin and Zarius are going right. to pump a few points in bot in the meantime. Uh, it looks Probably like the gonna foxes get the are pushing. Reggie. Leaving the bottom Reggie to KM, or not. Ah, they're, they're going for no, the they're, they're setting up for the Reggie. Yep. Meanwhile, KM is melting through Reg Ice. So I think what happens in this scenario is they break uh, bottom tier one and then they just then push. Oh, they don't even break it. Never mind. They, it looks like they're going to try and get some extra points to finish the job. Uh, foxes appear to be full pushing with Reggie Alecki. Oh, man, that's not your bush. Mammoth Swine in defense. Yep, high horsepower is good for this. Oh, ult coming in from Marlin. Oh, really good. Ult Ult's all over the place. World. Oh, yep. but that is clean all of victory. Them That's for... a, that is a team kill. Yep. Yep. Cleanly goes to the foxes. KM needs to get some. The how how are the levels doing? Surprisingly, still quite even. It's slightly Surprisingly even. However, there is a distinct advantage yep. to the foxes. It's tilting towards One extra the foxes. Level 12. But it's n by no means something that the that KM couldn't overcome. The kills are really flying back and forth this match. So nobody's getting a, a distinct leveling advantage. I feel at this point, like, uh, it, it is uh, Fox's favored, but this game yeah, is not. Fox this, is, this, this is going to Ray. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, feel like it's it's Ray. It's... Uh, I feel it's available just because uh, so really Fox would still have their first two bases open. Yeah. So oh, two good yeah. And look at the overscore potential on bot. It's on on both, yeah, honestly. Uh, if this if this turns Elite. towards KM or they're able to back cap, it could be a huge deal. Um, and plus, we've yeah, seen and... team fights go both directions this match. The teams are very honestly, clearly well both, matched. Both tier other. ones are very yeah. low. Like they, they'd be a l they're very low, but Surly Foxes are playing around that. They are hard care camping on those goals while they're waiting yeah. for a cause to spawn. They're not See, trying to. Now that now they're banning it to go to top, looks like they're gonna try and sneak in that last Reggie Lucky before it starts. Yeah, so they're gonna get top Reggie Lucky because uh, it's basically that puts a timer on uh, on the end of this game. Both teams have chosen uh, opposite Reggies this entire game, know, which Lupin, is pretty Lupin, hilarious. Lupin knows they're up here. Let's Lupin's see. On, Lupin could make oh a big man. play here. Could be a, oh, oh, no, oh, it goes to the foxes, oh, and that's no. two km oh, down. Oh, oh, oh. They are putting in the an overscore on made. bot. Why are they not scoring? Is, they're I waiting for the double. The, uh, ah, I see. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, Cam's it's, dead it's players gonna, are coming back in, but the foxes are set up around Rayquaza and are starting it, it appears. Gotta try and stall it out a little bit. They're just gonna let Reggie go in. Cam is here. Have to keep an eye on that. Foxes have to play the clock. They don't have to win the fight. Definitely. Yeah, they just have to put their 90 points down. Well, they don't know that. Oh, we know that. <laughs> yes, we do. Poking. They know they're ahead. Foxes yes. they know they're, they're ahead, ahead right now. They know that they're ahead. They also know that there's no Meowstrata ult, so... Which is pretty huge. Definitely... That yeah. attempted... Uh, Meowstrata the... ult means they can play... Oh, oh here, here it goes. Oh, huge oh, damage okay. coming out. A lot of First death to the foxes. Uh, so, uh, there's a Chandelure can... ult. KM makes it, it out of there with no happen. deaths. Oh, oh, Pikachu nearly... barely oh yeah, the so burn takes out Dragapult. One burn and one. One and one. They're going to return to their corners. They're carefully defending to make sure nobody's stealing a score. Mammo is starting. They need to make a play. Here they come. 
Masquerada's trying to sneak up the top. Needs to be made. He's trying, but they're watching it. Oh, down goes Cram. This is a tight battle here. Alt in to kill the Mammoth Swine. The Foxes still have control the of the mid, swine. and they are keeping defense on their top to prevent anyone from right, sneaking past. Looks like Luke is going to sneak down to the bottom one, but Chandelure but is already Chandelure is staying in spawn. They know they don't need him. He's just going to wait. Just watch for it. Vicious is starting yeah, Ray, but between two defend... Well, a defender and a support. Two tanks. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to hold Vicious off. Defense on top from Marley. Defense on bot from Bam. And Spirit. And they are played an incredible defensive game throughout those last three minutes. Armageddon. That Armageddon knew they didn't need her. And the Rayquaza just could wait and spawn and watch that bottom goal. Yeah. Crazy match, strategically speaking. Uh, that is a first win to the Cerulean Foxes. Take a quick look mm -hmm. at our statistics in case we need to pull those later. <laughs> Just get those up on screen Six, for a second. 60,000 damage to Lupin, 50 from Vicious, almost 50 from Mint, damage numbers. That Spirit almost hitting 60 on that uh, on that Whirlpool Zoom Rose. Yeah, Barm, 63. The, the tanks did almost no damage to this fight. There was a, <laughs> the a, tanks were there. When kills happened, they happened swiftly. There was not a lot of prolonged Ani, fighting. Almost 100,000 healing on that Clefable. My goodness. Well, no one's terribly surprised there. Okay. What a way to open the match. Uh, just amazing play from both teams, honestly. I, I think right up until the end, it could have gone either way. If, if at any point during that defense, KM had snuck in a score or had been able to take Ray while the Foxes were distracted, it would have gone. And I, I think the Foxes knew that because they played incredibly tightly throughout that last sequence. Other people are allowed to talk too, you know. There, there are. I, I have four of you in this call for a reason. <laughs> I don't. I don't hear from. I don't have vamping material. It's not vamping. Uh, we just saw an entire ten minutes of gameplay we could discuss. I don't. That's that's Sif's job. I'm not here to discuss gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Sif uh, is smart enough for all of us. Yeah. All I know, to tell you the truth, I'm like trying to remember that, like what. Both teams had it as their post <laughs> This it's, it's up it's in the like, it's up in the thread. Was a good match. It, hey, which <laughs> one were you in each team for? It's up in the thread. Um, um, but uh, what's his face? I feel like if they were gonna try to pull the backup, they should probably have done a little bit more in the middle because yeah. I feel like they had visual on all five people. And yeah. uh, what's his face? Given that. I do concur that doing trying to get the top Reggie via Masquerada ult was a good strategy. I personally, I disagree. They, I didn't like it. I yeah, I'm, I'm torn uh, on I, that I, one. I would say I like the, the I like the attempt. I can admire the attempt. The issue yeah. with it was certain was definitely that top goal. How much do we remember? How much it that had top goal had? Twenty four. Twenty four left. So it would have it would have so been they, good if it had gone in. But at the same time, they they committed two players to that, and most likely the yeah. Reggie would have just melted from the five Cerulean Foxes that were on it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah basically, yeah. it was throwing your ult to not have them get twenty points. Like. I, I don't know where that gets you, really. Oh, uh, what's his face? I think I uh, mis mis said what I was meaning. That okay. uh, what's his face? Like I enjoyed the attempt. However, I feel like all five of them should have just been top, given uh, that oh, the yeah. Lecky would yep. have gone into their center. I I'm I'm with you, you on you, that. You enjoyed the you, you enjoyed the hail mary. You did not enjoy yeah. the plan. I think yeah. this is like I understood the plan, and yeah. it was a. Uh, good attempt because Meowskarada ult is a very good ult. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I think this is something that we've noticed it? when we've played against KM2, which is that Lupin is very fond of Hail Marys and, and does them a lot, but I, I think in this case, the it was there wasn't enough of a reward to justify dropping two players right before the team fight. Because I, I, I think yeah. that just, all, all anything, that really did I think they should have the left the comfy with the rest of the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah Comfy just ju jumped off and said, "Like, all right, I'll see you on the other side, Captain." But yeah, like, just gamble yeah. the meow. I think that that definitely makes sense. I don't think Comfy altered during that. Like, Comfy just basically 
I'm dead too. <laughs> yeah, Z Zarius saved. Yeah, save I'm feeling like you're not doing the team fight right now. Okay. Yeah. 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 There's ever a situation where Comfy Old should have gone with Red to Lucky. Yeah, you don't have one not. player you're able to heal in comparison to more. Mm. That's that's the yeah, hard I... part of Meow's ult too. Is it, it's really good, but it takes away your ability to zip out of there if things go bad. So you really are committing to get Reggie Alecki and ninety nine percent also die. Um, so I feel. Oh, uh, oh I would like, like to point out that the Comfy was uh, tweet set. Yes, I saw that. Rather than, yeah, yeah. which uh, really. actually stunned for a good amount of time. Which I think was their initial plan when they were doing the ult. Gotcha. Mm. Stun everyone, deal a bunch of damage with the ult. In that case, I, I even more double down on thinking it should have been all five of them up there. Because if you lead with a mass stun and the damage from Meow's ult, you probably mm -hmm. win the fight right there. So, mm -hmm. in other words, like, alright, we know they're going for top regi. We could get this bottom regi and put some points in. Or we could try to just win this by jumping them right before raid like is what you're saying yeah because i mean i know we've lost matches because we got jumped right before ray if you get while you're like well the other team is distracted by reggie Alecki or out of position or something and you get on them before they're prepared for the team fight it can be absolutely devastating independent independent of that i i think it is like i i was really really engaged throughout the match because every team fight went a different way and felt different like they were constantly one team was taking the edge one team was wiping the other there was great defense on both sides so i, I think that they they were very clearly closely matched uh and i think that yeah. ultimately it was strategy that gave the foxes the win here so i'll be interested to see what strategy changes get made in the next match uh that because KM Kem will obviously be trying to tilt that balance back towards them so I feel one of the mistakes that KM made uh, is in the mid game when uh, they traded uh, uh, bottom Reggie for Reggie Alecki. Mm -hmm. uh, they tried to like use that break the base, and then I, the, I saw Lupin go into their jungle to get more points. I feel like at that point you just you put the points in, you all recall, and you uh, you group up as five to uh, defend that push. Right. Because what what also happened is uh, the 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 two that were on bottom got there later. Uh, Cram stepped forward into a bush that was not his. Button. Right. So that was an early uh, eject button that uh, that gets blown. I do think um, that in that situation, they may have been baited out by the foxes earlier using Regieleki as a distraction to score on bot. Um, because mm -hmm. the second time they stayed split between their goals, but this time the foxes hard pushed everyone on top. So there were defenders mm -hmm. defending against nothing down on bot. Those yeah, candy. so the other thing yeah. uh, is we already, like, KM should have already known that all five of them were there. And, like, uh, if you're showing uh, to uh, to them that, like, well, we're going to yeah, put points, at, like, you, like uh, Foxes can see uh, that you're on the base. Like, they know where you are. They know you're not on uh, on that, uh, on this defending one. So they, uh, they knew that, like, well, we have five players going to not five players. So... This is the fight that we do take. Right. Uh, Sif, what were you going to say? Oh, uh, I, I was about to say that, uh, let's face it, the Serum Fox has also had the knowledge that there were three people scoring at right. bottom. Right, yeah, because when you do try and back cap, you immediately show up on the other team's map, which is very valuable information for them. Yeah, and I believe that's essentially the starting point where, like, hey, yo, should all five of us push? Yeah, let's all push. Yeah. <laughs> it's only, uh, at most, it can only be two of them. How... Uh, like why would we not take that yeah trade? exactly yeah uh i i also want to note they've uh they've instituted something for this match they're doing a five minute timer uh to minimize the strategy phase which seems like an odd choice to me personally because i like the strategy phase but i guess we'll make for better yeah. content so we won't be I vamping feel, quite as long today. I, I feel it's actually kind of a, a practice for the uh, for the finals night stream oh that's yeah. fair Will we be will we be having a limitation on that then? That would make sense. Yep. Uh, because we want to try to. I'm assuming they're trying to prevent just uh, analysis paralysis, like saying like, "Oh, we fought or like three Pokemon we 
we cannot handle That's how fair. are we handling it we're gonna have to we're like gonna have to make sure not to get distracted minutes. like we always do during strategy then and actually yeah. progress the plan what do you mean i thought we were always panic baby yeah <laughs> that's true a good strategy is always to panic um okay it looks like km is ready for the next match uh does mm -hmm. anyone have ideas what roster changes might be made for this or or changes to the bands is someone going to finally take t-tar for example i, I want to see the t-tar <laughs> uh yeah no i actually do think t-tar will be played this match okay. <laughs> elsewhere if you look in the uh, the lobby chat uh, in in game you can see what i put there oh hang on <laughs> 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 we're supposed to be neutral observers here we're not supposed to put our fingers on the scale but admittedly i would love to see some t-tar gameplay considering the current buffs all right i'm gonna argue that i'm not putting uh, my finger on the scale i'm just saying i want to see somebody play t-tar i don't care whose side it is that's fair well the, I'm, I, yeah where's that's still play? affecting the... where's my freedom players i know there's freedom players in both teams <laughs> Oh man, it would be great to see a, a green right, game like whipped out in this. Um, to do... And we're starting. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, okay, right off the bat. They, they forgot to ask us. Good thing we were ready. Heck yeah. Oh, wait, I need some water. We're not ready. Oh, we're not ready now. <laughs> uh, do you expect the same bands? Oh, oh there's just immediately the banning the guitar. Right, right. Okay, <laughs> yep. All right, they they foresaw the same thing that we did. Yeah, you know, I don't like it, but I do respect it. <laughs> no, because uh, nice. they're also first pick. Oh, I've just realized that my uh, <laughs> sorry, I've just realized that my um my stream is my uh, stream manager is completely crashed so I'm, I'm trying to restart that and hoping that i have not accidentally dropped the stream throughout this i was wondering why red wasn't saying anything and how i just realized i haven't been hearing i haven't been seeing any of it hi red sorry <laughs> red, back? it's like red didn't say anything red has been talking non-stop red has been talking non-stop i'm so sorry red i couldn't see it <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, we're back. I'm focused. I, my technology is trying to kill me. It's fine. Okay, we have a first pick Slowbro for the Foxes. Once again, Spirits Blaziken has been banned. I understand that. That thing is brutal to fight against. Hey, I'm, of course, grabbing the Umbreon. It's available. They know. Yep. Time to grab it. They know and it's the good. Coffee. They know the foxes don't and like playing against. Are you it. who's ready for this Cerulean Fox's greatest reveal? That they've actually practiced nonstop against Umbreon and have a hundred percent win rate against it, and they've <laughs> just been fucking baiting us the whole time. It would be pretty fun. <laughs> they're gonna hilarious. hit. It. They're going to hit us like in finals. They're gonna hit whoever they're playing with the. I have something to tell you. I'm not left-handed, <laughs> <laughs> and the Umbreons are gonna go like zero and twenty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some some repeated picks over on the Foxes side, even though they have changed out players. Oh, Sif? Sif? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alien has swapped for Sin, and on the other side, Pat has swapped for Kevinator. Oh, oh that, was, that was almost a Hoopa game right there. I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, it's not a Hoopa. Jeez. It is the iconic... Lupin Talonflame might be making a return here. Oh man, she oh, keeps baiting oh, me. Wait, wait. Mimikyu? Oh, Mimikyu. 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 Okay. So the foxes Mimikyu are. Mimikyu into Slowbro is an interesting choice. Foxes into Slowbro are really and going in. Azumarill. Yeah. Uh, I... Also, I'm going to point out Barmajan on, on uh, uh, Chandelure with uh, move cancel as well. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that Mimikyu is an interesting choice into this team. I feel like Lupin decided to, like to see it in work, hard but... mode. I notice you, Turret. I, I notice you, Turret. I appreciate you both very much for being here. Um, yeah, I, I'm interested. The Foxes have clearly said, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and are going with almost mm -hmm. the same strategy, except swapping out Trevenant for Slowbro, which, as we all know, is an incredibly powerful control Pokemon. It, I feel like, uh, like Foxes' team is... It's more or less the same. Yeah, it's, it's, it's essentially the same. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side, we have a completely wow. new yeah. setup. KM is is bringing just a, a total 
tone shift to this. Uh, a lot of so, stuff that goes online very early, which is interesting to me. I think they may be hoping to pull out an early lead. I feel we're going to see uh, a lot of poking with the Espeon uh, and the Venusaur. Uh, Umbreon is... Uh, with, basically, yeah, what's going to happen really is Pumpkin is going to go on the Mimikyu or, or the Umbreon, and Umbreon and, and, and Mimikyu are going to jump in where... Right. Admittedly, the other two are, are just going to start blasting. I would not be... Yeah. Especially, yeah, with, with oh, the Pokemon, okay, yeah. especially. We've got Mimikyu to... jungler and, once again, Shandy jungler. No surprises there. Uh, looks going to be like... definitely on the lookout for those that Mimikyu is going to be watching for any good pokes to just appear and go for cleanup. Interesting. So it looks like the, the KM has sent the two Eevees up top in order to try and interfere with the stacking plan, which uh, is going He's to gone. resume exactly as it did last time. Uh, admittedly, I wouldn't be surprised if Mint is playing Petal Dance. Like, I, I could see him going either direction yeah, with that. I guess we'll find <laughs> out. Yeah, shit. That would be funny. Yeah, because, I mean, look, he is laning with Zarius as comfy. So, I, I'm not, you know, I, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of it being the melee version. Uh, one of the oh, EVs is up. And that's an Espeon. Right about the Espeon one. Yep. Shotgun Espeon, too. Don't let it score. Don't let it... Oh, oh, oh. Ani gets through. Oh, Can she make it to safety or is she going to oh. get taken down? She, she lives. Down. Bam has rotated. So has Lupin. Once again, all XP junglers on top. Oh, down Ooh. goes Ooh, Azumarill. Oh, oh Ani might be going oh, down too. Mimikyu, grab it, Ani. Looks you like the early good. top push is working out for them. I know, the Mimikyu is a good... Oh, that's foul play Umbreon? It, yep. Yep. Foul yeah, play foul play and snarl to knock him back. Yeah. yeah. I realized it's like, the Mimikyu, wait a second, Mimikyu. We've got a lot of farming. Just farming, farming so here. far. Not a lot of yep. not a lot of skirmishing. Um, right, let's go back to the top side where there's more blood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> blood, We're here blood, for the blood. violence. That's that's why we come to this stream. Uh, looks like they're continuing Bunny, to stack. Yep. They're going to stack. Successfully. Uh, why are they in the center of the map? I don't know. It's too early. They might have been setting up for birds. But they're set. Uh, I mean, oh. if you've got stackers like this, I don't know how early you can afford to set up against birds. Ooh, almost grabbing spirit, but moonlight. Uh, in takes the center, them we actually safety. have uh, Venusaur and yep. or Ivysaur. Ivysaur versus the yeah. Okay, it looks like middle has been resolved. Do we know that? Do we know that Ivysaur is yet? Has anyone seen the move? It's, it's uh, confirmation. We've it, seen Sludge poison, Bomb, but so that's not. Oh, yeah, there's nope. Sludge Bomb. That's not a confirmation. Yeah. Mint uses Sludge Bomb on both uh, second moves. Oh, does he? Yeah. So. Oh no! I think you're trying to get out. Snarl. Oh, the Espeon picks it up. Oh, I have Mimikyu uh, in the middle too. Oh, crazy fight up Mimik top. Mimikyu goes down. Mimikyu goes the, down. The Snarl. Spirit as oh, well. Keep the Zoomer off of Gold just long enough to finish it off. All right, we got a Venusaur. On the oh, the stun on the the stun on the Venusaur is Solar Beam. Off, okay, though. Solar Beam confirmed on bot. The Eevees are low. Umbreon goes down. Chandelier secure is it continues to be crazy. Is she gonna go in on Vicious? Vicious is low and staying off goal. Vicious, you have berries. Eat them. Espeon is mobile, but without to, sword power, not that them. mobile. Oh, hey, listen. <laughs> Looks oh, like uh, we have bottom Reggie. It's ice. KM is split starting the Reggie. Umbreon is rotating. Uh, looks like with slow smoke, smoke they're able to. Smoke. That is a nice oh, slow smoke, smoke play. Right oh, that slow bro is just going to get jumped, might. He's going to get Barely right makes it to safety. Buff. Heavy defense. Uh, I was hoping on that last beam. Chandelier going in does not secure on the Mimikyu. Ooh. Oh, on but the other it... side of the uh, map is Umbreon 1v1s and wins. Ooh. Oh man, okay. The push is hard on bot. A lot of fights happening, yeah. Uh, Mimikyu ult might be able to successfully ult. take out Bam. Yes, oh, Chandelier oh. is down. That is the main Chandelier. damage source from this team. And picks off the Pikachu. It's yeah, probably... the Foxes stand yeah, no chance here. Oh, oh, oh no, nope. Slowbro's down. Oh, they're gonna get the Slowbro too. Ani defending Mimikyu alone. Umbreon. Is she able to stop them from scoring? Looks like unlikely, you know. but reinforcements have arrived. Oh, they get the top right here. Uh, and meanwhile, on top lane, Espeon and, and the rest of the team secures a Regilecki. 
turn to bottom lane because there's no other team members up here. Yep. How do they break it though? Mimic oh, goes down, down. but that was One a point. very effective split I of the foxes up, by the the by KM, and they're gonna get mid uncontested. Is almost like a reverse of what happened last game so far. Dominant Reggie play Looking... from the from KM, and they are pushing the the oh. envelope forward. KM not large, but a distinct level advantage here. The two level nines to Fox's two level eight. Yeah, that, those are pretty oh. significant too. Lupin's hunting around for the Azumarill. looking for the yeah, Lupin one. is yeah. on the prowl. Spirit, so Spirit yeah, sees Lupin her. Does best. And chooses so, to Lupin leave. Says, nope, Spirit's going to yeah, Lupin says, are... I want 16 points. Give me. They'll be fighting. And Spirit is frequently left to Azumarill. fight solo on top by the Foxes, so this is no surprise. Slowbro taking some heavy hits. Very nice but solar beam there. Oh, the oh, good alts, but Embryon comes in, slams down. Alts flying like uh, crazy. There. Man, if oh, the Espeon goes down. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the Azumarill uh, wins the one v one against that Mimikyu. I mean, I think we, I think we were talking about it earlier, but yeah, just uh, Mimikyu into Azumarill is not great. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, it's great for the Azumarill. Well, that's true. It's <laughs> very good for the Azumarill. Oh, great. Oh, my God. The Slowbo is just barely getting away. The Foxes are barely Slow hanging on, on their goal. Lupin is starting oh, the Reggie. Oh, Azumarill comes in ult. Oh, amazing the ult. The push. They're they're pushed back. Umbreon makes it to safety. Great ult from Espeon. Espeon picks off turns the, the tide. More, oh man, it's it's even hard to read out all the oh deaths that are happening. Oh my goodness! Wow! Heavy oh, KM. Espeon. And Espeon bam goes down. That is a wow, team wipe of the Cerulean Foxes. They were gonna lose it. Shit, what just happened? Uh, Lupin, why not the get tide get of that bonus. battle went back and forth oh, so many times. And to get extra scores. Yep. Strong so lead Reggie to KM. And uh, Venusaur's already on the top side. They have got the Reggie. Mint is starting Venusaur with the Alecky, and it looks like the foxes are just trying to farm up. Uh, no, he's actually pulling it off. He doesn't feel comfortable. He doesn't know where they are. Yep. He knows that they're not on the bottom side of the map, so process of elimination says they're here. Lupin and Zarius are poking. Oh, uh -oh. The team is converging, but I don't know. Oh, okay, now, Marley now is Venusaur low, knows. but they're able to Nearly kill. Nearly out the Pikachu, down goes. With that information, Marley. and and Lupin and Zarius' sacrifice, KM believes they're, they'll be able to melt Reggie before the other team can do anything. They are correct, oh, Reggie. but the Foxes may have predicted this. They are attempting to break bot. They're going to break, and then right, I assume they're going to defend. Can. With a pretty significant gonna... overscore, they are now backing Ooh, to defend. Boys. They are still behind, but it is much closer now. <laughs> 30 seconds to Ray. Yep, 30 seconds on the clock to Rayquaza. Once again, it's going to come down to the Rayquaza. But it, here's but yeah. the funny thing is, they don't know how close this score line is. They, uh, so this isn't a, well, yeah. we gotta wait out the clock. No, you gotta fight. Yeah, both teams, fight, both teams have yeah, to fight this. This is gonna be a close one. Why oh, is Umber on that Kevinator is very Umber forward. Is holding really far up, probably just trying to keep visual on yeah. them so they know yeah. if they're coming down. I think you want as much I, I guess information. Part of it is like the only thing that's going to keep him there is a Slowbar alt. And Slowbar is not going to solo alt an Umber. Yeah. Okay, the fight the begins. Plaza. Sin is right, poking. Uh, uh, Zumarill is. Zumarill is finding the Mimikyu again. Dangerous. The spirit is going Lupin, for Lupin. Lupin, you need to, need to be careful. <laughs> you have yet to win a 1v1 with that uh, Zumarill, I think. Mint putting out a laser. Oh, the attack Throwing begins. The a lot of damage. In on the tanks. They're dropping it on the slow, bro. The team slow is separated. Down. Down. Uh, uh, Mimikyu ult uh, uh, on the Zumarill. Zumarill ults back and Zumarill dies. Zumarill goes down, Mimikyu though. gets the dash and it uh, goes on uh, the Clefairy. Into the Bam's ult takes up one, maybe two kills. They're low, but she's got to pull back. KM correctly thinking they might be able to start this now. But Bam is moving Bam around top, the, trying to grab Bam Vicious. Bam successfully oh, grabs oh, Vicious. Oh, oh, no. And KM Ooh. is wiped. The chandelier goes down. Yeah, but now Zarius and Umbreon, yeah, Umbreon but with able to hero. hold. What do you mean wiped? No, you're right. I, I misread the, the notifications. Umbreon and yeah, no, Comfy they, are more than able uh, to Lupin hold off the rest. Lupin, Umbreon and Comfy chase down. Oh, uh, I see what you're doing, Lupin. Azumarill going for the score, knows it's close. Mimikyu coming in to stop it. Marley defending. 
also thinking that it's my it's close, but potentially in their favor, uh, which it is not the rest currently. Of Cam is respawning, oh, no, which is no. good because they know. Th but the rest of Cam Spirit is down they because they know Mimikyu they, they cannot can't kill win the one with those. <laughs> the tanks are dueling futilely in uh -oh. mid. None of them can start. None Honey, of them can kill each other. there to stop her. Vicious on top. But there is defense there from Marley. Oh Ani might have turned the tide with those 16 points. Zarius is trying to score. Marley is able to stop. Oh, oh my god. Ani steals this game. Ani was the steal at the end. The Hail Mary Holy eight point shit. matter. And oh. it did. Oh my god. It was a play. Both hey, teams. Penguins. It wasn't eight points. It was sixteen yep. versus a three point it was, lead. It, it was eight points yeah. on her. It was sixteen that went in. Yeah. Both teams yeah. there playing correctly, as if the difference was incredibly narrow. They had to both defend and attack, and so Cerulean Foxes were the ones that were able to just barely squeak some points in. Unbelievable game. GGs to both teams. Incredibly dominant <laughs> from KM. I just. There's a reason these two are top teams of the league. I just that was fantastic. Look at the, let's look at these wow. stats. I'm curious. Yeah, let's hit the stats. Let's here. hit the stats. Uh, the amount of healing damage. and the amount of damage taken. Seventy-two thousand to Barmajan, seventy thousand to Lupin. Yeah, they were outputting a huge <laughs> amount of damage. <laughs> Uh, Almost 40,000 to Spirit Edge, and I can guarantee 30,000 of that was on Lupin. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, Red says... 70 on Vicious. Yeah, yep. Red, Red points out Ani won the match, and that is absolutely correct. That that victory goes entirely to Ani and to that very sneaky Clefable at the end there. Man. Well, I know I'm that's even really sneaky. Wow. That Clefable, that Clefable, Ani, Ani did, the, did the math. They did the count. They saw that Mint and... Vicious were both on top. They knew where Kevinator and Zarius were. They threw the gravity and they just sprinted. Yep. They said, this is Pop my moment. And this is my chance. And it was. They pop, pop the X-Speed went for it. And the only way that yep. that would have stopped is if somebody was already there. Saw the, mm -hmm. just read the knew, map situation. They knew they weren't. Like, they had eyes on everyone. They saw, they saw Mint and Vicious. The only thing... Uh, and you know... And I don't, I don't want to call out for it, but I just want to say, you know Mint is kicking himself right uh, now because you saw after they killed off Spirit, Mint started backing and changed his mind and continued to mid. And you know Mint is not going to be happy about that, unfortunately. Yeah, that, I mean, it was, I mean, it was really it, well, down. It was a call in the moment, and it was unfortunately the wrong call, but sometimes yeah, but that happens. Here's, here's mm -hmm. the thing is, it was only a three-point lead, it, like, it, both of I think both teams were thinking like we're behind. We have like they have to be ahead by a few points. Is, yeah, is what mm -hmm. was going. They I mean they on. had because if you saw that like they made a push for the top side. Problem is they just they you had ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. They had no <laughs> way. Of, they had no way of knowing how it was coming. They was gonna fifty. The Foxes had did. a lot they more tried. information in that end sequence, which was why they were able to pull off what they did. KM was working with a lot less information. They had no way of knowing Ani was coming. Mm -hmm. Really remark. I mean, both uh, both games came down to just pure pure skill played to the hilt on both sides. I'm I just I'm amazed. Yeah, I think especially no Ray this game. Yeah, no uh, Ray second I, game. I wish I was paying attention nope, to. Yeah. Is uh, I was not watching all the uh, Mimikyu versus Azumarill one v ones, and I I, I kind of want to know like was it like over committing on the Mimikyu part or was it. I don't know. I like, as as someone who has, I've one v one spirit on top before, while the rest of both teams are on bot. It's a scary situation to be in. Spirit plays extremely precisely in those situations. So uh, I feel like it's more of the case where Mimikyu needed a good escape from it. How it because uh, Azu's play rope gives him a speed boost. Yeah, and the only way Mimikyu is able to get away from that. Is if uh, they are able to shadow sneak a good mob far enough away where Nazu can't catch them. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and the player, the the inv I think the invincibility frames from. 
play rough also really help if you're in a 1v1. Uh, just Azumarill has the edge because they're not taking damage 100% of the time, and you are. I think what it is th uh, then, because of how Mimikyu passive is, uh, is at the start of, uh, of the fight, it, it's Mimikyu sided, but it, uh, the very prolonged fight, it seems to be Azumarill sided. Yeah. I mean, I think that's true for most, if, if Azumarill can catch out most things, just because it just, they, they're they they're very sustain rather than burst, especially the build that Spirit was going with. Az has got 1v1s. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I mean, it's the whole ability, after all. Uh, Red is sending very adorable clap emotes, uh, and I agree. Uh, this was an absolutely fantastic match. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, we certainly enjoyed casting. Man, that was fantastic. So from here... Exciting ending. Yeah, <laughs> both endings. Yep. Uh, that puts the Cerulean Foxes into the semifinals. Uh Kakuna Matata will now face off against the Gilded Clef Kings uh, in the loser's bracket. Uh, and then tomorrow, we'll find out who is uh, facing they, the Foxes. They'll be the Disaster Noodles. Yeah, they, they fight yeah. the Disaster Noodles. Oh, sorry, I, I misread the three and the four. That was Seed, not... Yep. yep. Okay, they will fight the Disaster Noodles next time in the loser's <laughs> bracket. Uh, and... I, hope they, I hope they don't have to fight Clef Kings. They just run it back. <laughs> oh, Clef yeah. Kings. <laughs> To be Poor fair, Clef King's gonna have to fight him twice in a row. If they win and Clef Kings win their match, they'll be running it back regardless. Uh, but oh yeah, baby! Tomorrow uh, we will be seeing the other the other side of round two. We'll be finding out who is facing the Foxes in the semifinals between Team Soul and the Rhydons. So if you would like to watch that, uh, same bat time, same bat channel. We will be back. Uh, very excited to. Uh, face off against Soul. That will be our perspective stream, uh, and Ani will be stream third partying that. So definitely check out her channel for that as well to get uh, her version of whatever this chaotic third partying we do is. Um, yeah, we are incredibly excited uh, to face off against Soul again. Uh, honestly, I, this this these matches were so good. It makes me want to play Unite. Because I'm I just like, I was so much cool strategy and gameplay. I'm like, man, I wish I were that cool. I want to play some Unite and be that cool. I'm never that cool, but I can dream. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to my lovely teammates for co-commentating with me. I always appreciate it very, very much. Uh, and we will see you very, very soon for the other match in round two. And from there... Hopefully, God's willing, on to the semifinals. Have a lovely evening. Yep, have a lovely evening. Bye.